I would tell you we have the money and we chose not to do it. I have sat on a city council, I have sat on a school board, and I have sat there and said, how dare they bring down an unfunded mandate to me so that I have to figure out how to pay for it. Minority Leader McKean. Thank you very much, Mr. Speaker. So I will tell my, my JBC folks, Rep. Ransom, Rep. Herod, Rep. McCluskey, thank you for your work. Thank you for your work. The, the delight of our process is that we get to come back here. And, and I, I, I will share again that, you know, the, <laughs> the wonderment in me when I got here and I thought, oh, I'm going to offer all these amendments to the budget and, and I've got all these great ideas. And then, and then Representative Rankin came up and he goes, you know who's on the conference committee, right? And I'm like, who? Can I get on that? And he goes, no, it's JBC. Well, yeah, so that's what we've got. I don't take umbrage with where, where the discussion went. And I appreciate the fact that when we offered an amendment in both houses for $3 million to do what we told people to go do, and we don't have the money, I get it. I completely understand. And when we have to make choices about what we do and, and how we do it, and when we all have, a hundred of us in this building, our own ideas about the things that we want to see funded and that we want to see done, I get it. But if I take the conference committee report and I say that we, in both houses, said that we believe in funding the things we told this state to go do, we told some of the people who work the hardest in this state to go do something that is difficult. And I want all of you guys to think about what's difficult. You now have to completely adopt a new, a new technology. You have to take responsibility for that. You have to back it up. You have to do all the things. This is not easy stuff. And we said, you have to go do this. We didn't say you might. We didn't say it's OK if you don't. We said, you must go do this. And so when we said that, we didn't give them any money to do it. So this year, both houses said we'd like to add $3 million to the $3 million that already exists. You just heard that in one department alone, the cost is around $1.6 million. So start adding that up over the state and realize the untold millions of dollars that this is going to require. And it cannot, with all deference, be pushed on the back of gifts, grants, and donations. We told these departments to go do something. And so, with no umbrage, but with open eyes to the process, I can tell you that the amendment to add $3 million to this fund was reduced. After a lot of debate and a lot of discussion, it was reduced from $3 million to $1 million. Because we didn't have the money, right? No, not because we didn't have the money. Because if you look elsewhere in this, we reduced the appropriation by $2 million to fund current legislation. Now, I don't, I, don't, I don't sit on JBC. I don't have to do the wrestling match of what it takes to put this budget completely together. But I do know how to read. Mrs. Smith did a really good job teaching me how to read. She also did a really good job teaching me how to add and multiply. And I can tell you that when I see a reduction in the amount for current legislation of $2 million, and I see a reduction in the amount of the amendment that we put on in both houses of $2 million, I would tell you we have the money, and we chose not to do it. I have sat on a city council. I have sat on a school board. And I have sat there and said, how dare they? bring down an unfunded mandate to me so that I have to figure out how to pay for it. We just did that again. And it's not fair. It is not fair for us to make a policy decision in this building, in this chamber, and, and with the other chamber and the governor to say this is what we're going to do, whether we agree with it or not, 
to do that, send it on its way, and then not do our jobs. Shame on us. This is not fair. Do what's right. 